Hobart School of Welding Technology presents Training in Gas Tungsten Arc Welding Pipe and Tubing. Topic number 14, Job Practice. Single V-Groove Weld, 2G and 5G Position, Visual and Guided Bend Tests. Objective. To produce a weld that meets the standards of acceptability, necessary to pass a visual and guided bend test in the 2G and 5G positions. Material. 8 inch diameter, schedule 60 steel pipe, 2 nipples per workpiece. Electrodes. 1 8 inch diameter, 2% thoriated tungsten, 3 30 seconds inch diameter, E7018, and 1 8 inch diameter, E7018. Filler metal, 1 8 inch diameter E70S1B. Shielding gas, argon, welding grade. Equipment, collet and collet body, 1 8 inch diameter. Nozzle, number 6, 3 8 inch inside diameter. Protective clothing, gloves, and helmet. Wire brush, wire cutters, pliers, and chipping hammer. For this exercise, prepare a set of test nipples and then weld them with the procedure and technique outlined in topics 12 and 13. Three-fourths of the pipe should be welded in the 5G position and the remaining fourth in the 2G position. The first or root pass should be completely welded in both the 2G and 5G positions before the additional passes are made for each layer. After completing the weld, submit it to your instructor for visual inspection. The standards of acceptability are cracks. The weld metal must have no cracks in order to be acceptable. There should be no sign of incomplete joint penetration at the root of the weld. Porosity must not exceed 1 16th inch maximum, and there must be no more than the combined total of 1 8th inch of porosity in any one square inch of weld. Undercut must not exceed 1 32nd inch in width or depth and there shall be no more than the combined total of two inches of undercut in any six inches of weld, or five percent of the total thickness of the base metal, whichever is less. The face reinforcement shall be a minimum of flush with the base metal to a maximum of one-eighth inch, and the root reinforcement shall be a minimum of flush with the base metal to a maximum of 1 16th inch. The reinforcement for both face and root must blend smoothly into the surface of the surrounding pipe. If the well passes visual inspection, prepare the workpiece for the guided bend test. With a soapstone, outline the six sections to be retained for testing. Each test specimen should be one and one half inches wide and marked with the welder identification. Flame cut the six sections as outlined. Three of the strips will be retained for root bends and three for face bends. Two face bends and two root bends will be taken from the portion of the pipe welded in the 5G position. One face bend and one root bend will be performed on the portions taken from the 2G position. Grind both the face and root of the weld flush with the surface of the base metal without removing any of the base metal. Be sure to grind the straps perpendicular to the weld axis or across the weld. Do not grind parallel with the axis or down the weld. Now, grind a 1 8 inch radius on the corners of each specimen. In a guided bend jig, bend three straps face side up for the root bends and three straps root side up for the face bends. 
the standards of acceptability are none of the specimens shall have any open defects exceeding one eighth inch measured in any direction on the convex surface of the specimen except that cracks occurring on the corners of the specimen will not be considered unless there is definite evidence that they result from slag inclusions or other internal defects. Analyze the test results and check with your instructor.